Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 4 of the FIFA 19 My Player Career. As you know, we are in the MLS and we are playing for Toronto FC. We've had a pretty decent start to our career here in America so far. And remember, we are a young American um, striker as well. So we're hoping to get ourselves into that national team um, pretty soon. We are obviously scoring goals for our team and um, getting the assists in there as well. But I think we've still got a lot of work to do before we are um, playing in that first team of the United States of America. But that is one of the dreams. And we're also looking towards playing in Europe. So uh, once we are happy with what we've achieved here with Toronto FC, which could be just a, a one or maybe two seasons, we'll have to see how we get on. Um, we, we'll be looking for a move away to Europe for one of the big clubs. Um, I don't think we'll get a big club coming in for us straight away. I think we're only valued around £10 million right now. Um, so we'll have to improve our stats, um, our attributes as well, of course. We are training as well. We didn't train in the last series for that Wolves career. Um, but we are training this time around. We're training all the um, possible things that we can um, to try and get him as high as highly rated as possible. Um, so, of course, then the big teams will be coming in for us. But I'm just a bit worried that it will uh, make us a bit too expensive. We was um, pretty expensive in the Wolves career, I have to say. And that was without any training. Um, so we'll see how we get on with this one. You never know. We could start another one before FIFA 20 hits. And we were looking towards starting a, a career mode with a 16-year-old. So we'll see how this one goes first. And we'll look into that. Maybe one for the summer. Uh, but let's see how we get on in this one. As you can see already, we are leading by one goal to nil. Seattle Sounds going close just there in the early stages of the second half. Uh, but thankfully, it did go wide of the goal. So 1-0 to Toronto FC. There is Kai winning possession. He's up to a 6.9 right now. And he's carried on his run here, trying to get himself in on the goals. Gone a little bit too far wide there. Gets across in far post. And there is the header. And that is Giovinco's second goal of the game. He's going to be looking for a hat-trick. Kai gets himself an assist. Um, so obviously, his stats are going to be increasing with performances like this. And we've still got, what is it, just over 20 minutes to play. Try and grab himself a goal. He could get man of the match performance here, Kai. Uh, but nice little header. Goalkeeper probably should have done better there. It was right at him, but for some reason, fell down his arse. And Giovenco was there to score his fourth MLS goal of the season. And good striker, of course. Pretty short, but he's got pace and obviously he's got goals in him as well. He is the top sco goal scorer so far here for Toronto FC, but Kai will have something to say about that towards the end of the season. He's going through all the way himself here. Can he pull a goal back? And he does. There we go. He's pulled a goal back on uh, Giovinco, running away with the goal scorer's record right now. But there is number nine, Kai. He gets Toronto's third of the game. And we've got less than 20 minutes gone. It's now Toronto FC 3. Seattle Sanders nil good finish there low driven goalkeeper didn't stand a chance whatsoever and how many is that for the season now for Kai it's his third as well so not too far behind Giovinco I have to say I thought Giovinco um, was going to be having a couple more but still plenty more time for Giovinco to go ahead and get himself a hat trick in this game now if he's still on the pitch is he still on the pitch I can't see him right now um, here is Kai just inside the area. Goes for the long range finesse. Well, I say long range. He went for the far post of him um, for that finesse, but just over the crossbar with his weak foot as well. Uh, good effort, but obviously once his stats and attributes increase, he will be popping them away for fun, no doubt. Uh, but three goals to nil it is. Kai's up to a 9.2 match rating. It looked like he might just get that um, player of the match award as Seattle Sanders going for that near post. It's a side net to no. Trying to get themselves at least a consolation goal. I can't see it coming now. Time is running out. We've got three minutes of out of town to play. One minute of that has already been played. Now uh, they do have themselves a corner. So maybe one last chance is in it for Seattle. Cross comes in. For a post on target there with the header. But the goalkeeper thankfully was there to hold on to the ball. And I think that is going to be Seattle Sanders' last chance to get anything from this game. The final whistle blows and Kai with a good performance all round. And of course Toronto FC with a nice three points and a good victory. So 9.1 final match rating there for Kai. As you can see one goal, one assist. And we've got quite a few attributes unlocking as well for playing 10 games so far in his career. Um... Some important ones as well. Speed, strength, volleys, finishing, anything else. I think that's about it. So let's jump into the second game of today's episode. This one away from home, taking on New England. And hopefully we can go out there and put in another good performance. Get ourselves another good three points. 
and then we will be pushing towards the top of the table. Uh, but right now, it is New England in possession. They're the ones who get this game on the way at home. And already we do win possession back. And Kai just couldn't control that one, unfortunately. So New England get the ball back just inside their own half. They're the ones on the attack. Are they going to go forward, try and grab themselves an early goal? Oh, the pressing. Look at this pressing by the attacking players there from New England. And they still have possession. All possession is mostly for New England. All the pressure as well is being placed on our players. So we've got to change things up. Here's a bit of a space open up for Kai's one one with a keeper. Can he put it into the back of the net? He can. That's his fifth goal of his career. He gets a plus one for his finishing attributes. And there is the opening goal of the game. Less than eight minutes gone. It's New England nil. Toronto FC one. And against the runner play, you have to say, New England started brighter. They were the ones pressing our defenders, winning the ball back every chance that they got. But nice little touch there from Kai. Totally did the defender. And boom, nice finish into the top corner, giving Toronto the one-goal lead. And Kai grabbing his fourth league goal of the season. They scored a goal in the last one. Scores again today. And let's try and grab him another one today as well if he can. I think that's a level with Giovinco as well, isn't it? for a piece in the MLS so Toronto we've got goals in us hopefully that continues to go and that will obviously help us going forward to the last games of the season and whatever else um, competitions that we play in I don't really know what competitions there is other than the actual league in the MLS it's not a, a league which I actually follow properly uh, but here's a chance for New England going through defense is absolutely nowhere and New England have pulled a goal back here uh, less than 15 minutes gone, we've had two goals already, and this could be a very exciting game. Cicido, it was, number 27 there for New England, uh, putting New England back on level turns. But look, look at this defence, 1-2, defence nowhere, and boom, not sure of the position of the goalkeeper as well. Um, bit off there, but Luis Alberto Cicedo, he scores his first MLS goal of the season. Half an hour gone then, so 15 minutes remaining in this first half. Kai, nice ball played through to him. He cuts inside, space opens up, goes for the shot. Is it the woodwork? And there is the second goal of the game, but he is offside. It will not count. Giovinco scoring, but as I said, he was offside when that, I think when Kai shot originally. Let's have a look. Yeah, he hits it there, look, and Giovinco is in an offside position. It bounced off the woodwork straight into the path there of Seb Giovinco. So, unfortunately, that one won't count. Uh, but hopefully, we can get ourselves a another goal to put us in front before this half is over and done with. Here's Delgado. Here's Kai. Nicely laid off there. Giovinco and the ball over to that far side. Played in the middle and there with the volley. What a fantastic volley that was as well. Less than 10 minutes to play here, and Toronto all back in front finally. Two goals to one. And who was it that scored that? I'm not entirely sure. I've got to learn all these player names as well, remember, and see who plays where. Well, look at that. Whoa. Nice volley there at that near post. Defenders around him probably should have gone up for that, but Jonathan Osorio, he scores his second MLS goal of the season. Um, hopefully many more to come from him as well. But two goals to one it is. We are into the second period now of this match. Trying to hold on to this 2-1 lead and maybe even score a third. It will be nice if we can get that third goal. But right now, as you can see, in possession is New England. That one shot and what a goal. What a finish that is. Top corner and the goalkeeper should have done better. There's a first time finish there from that guy. What's his name? Agudelo. Agudelo. Probably just um, savaged his name there. But what a finish it was. Can't take that away from... New England, it is 2-2 now, 52 and a half minutes played, look at this, it was a first time effort as well, boom, goalkeeper, should have kept that one out, but what a finish it was, 2-2 then, and time for Toronto to try and get themselves back in front for the third time in today's game, and there is going to be a change here, we've got less than 10 minutes remaining, time is running out now for both sides to go out and get the three points, but if there is going to be a winner, Fingers crossed it's going to be in the way of Toronto. And maybe even Kai getting the, the winning goal. That would be a nice way. But we've given that one away straight away from kickoff. And that one is going to go into the back of the net. And can you believe it? We've just given away the game here. We was leading two goals to one. They leveled up with a fantastic finish. But this one is just a terrible bit of defending from Toronto. Goalkeeper plays it short. Defender gives it away. Massive gap then through the middle. And then, of course, the goalkeeper gets a foot or something to it. 
but couldn't keep it out of the goal as it just trickles in over the line. And a minute to play. It is three goals to two then to um, New England here. A poor result this is going to be if it does end this way. Time is running out. We've got three minutes of added time remaining. Um, just over one minute of that to play and there's a loose ball maybe one last attack here here is Kai just outside the area needs to turn or lay this one off he does lay it off tried to get the ball back through didn't receive it and I think that is going to be about it guys so leave a like if you did like today's episode subscribe if you haven't done so already and hopefully we can get ourselves back to winning ways at the start of the next episode